Today at Technology Bob, we are running out of storage. We are making too many videos, I think. So most people, what do they do? They go out and they buy an external hard drive. Or they get a, a disk storage for the network. Wow, at Technology Bob, we don't do that stuff, do we? What we do, what we do is we grab a server that is 16 plus years old. 16 years old. This server has not ran since 2013. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to revive it so we can have some storage for videos. Stay tuned. From the squeak of the hinges to the roar of the drive, Bob and Nick keep the world alive. All right. This First time this server's been on since 2013. We're gonna try to fire it up today. Um, I want to convert. I need storage. Too many, um, too many movies, I guess, or too many di videos. Um, I can't. It ain't worth anything on the marketplace. It's too old. Um, we're gonna put. If it gets, if it runs, we're gonna put Rocky on here and make it into a desk server. On disk, disk asset server. Um, this 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 server came from. I managed a web uh, company for a while in 2012. There was disputes between the owner and the person that wrote the program. I didn't get into it. I just was pulled in to manage some stuff. Well, it shuttered. Um, and I had to go get the servers out of a rack on a data type processing center. Not it wasn't data processing; it was a server place um, that managed a bunch of servers um, that served the web, uh, web stuff. So um, this server has been setting ever since then. I am I'm. I think it has, I'm not sure what software it has on it right now, um, but it doesn't really matter. I don't remember the password to it or anything else like that. I've actually switched disk in there. Um, I, I have I have three of these. Um, I have one actually running down there. I don't know if you can see that. There's, there's a server running down there and it's running CentOS which is just internal, it's not out to the web or anything like that. Because, um, but it's actually a file server um, that we use at the home. That, that thing's been running, <laughs> doesn't quit. Um, but I did switch all the disk in here. I switched them um, from the other one we have to some bigger hard drives. Um, I think this has probably now like maybe three terabytes in it um which i know it's probably an expensive way to get three terabytes worth of storage um because these things ain't cheap to run um but it is what i have uh, uh if we'll probably need to do something later on but this will get by temporary right so Let's uh, let's try to plug it in here. I did grab I did grab a Cat Six. Uh, I got a monitor here. I have a cord, so we're gonna I'm gonna turn it around. Um, and these machines will run um, without mon keyboards or anything like that, so we should be okay there. Um, I don't think I'm going to plug this directly into the internet right yet, or uh, no, network. I should, but I'm not going to. Um, we're just going to bring it on 
we're going to try to get some something out of it, right? Even make sure it comes on. Fan kicked on. So let's uh let's see what we got here. Coming up or aim on. It don't look like it's coming up. Couldn't I I could have pulled the OS out of it, but it should still get something out of it. Welcome to my world. We're going to try to get this to... I'm, I'm surprised that I'm not getting something out of... Uh, it's fairly clean in there. It is an Intel um, base processor. So, I'm not sure if it's not making the RAM or what it's not making the RAM. Anything out of it at all. So, okay. See, I got something out of it now. Actually, well, all I did was I popped the RAM out and popped the RAM back in. Um, we got errors. Of course, I figured we would. Um, swapping all the drives and everything else. Plus, it hasn't been running. Um, I'm going to shut it back down, try to get it to boot um, with off the USB. I don't know if it will. Bob got a heart, he's a fixer man. With Nick by his side, they've got a plan. From a busted car to a cracked phone screen, they're turning wrenches, living the dream. Garden tools and a leaky sink, a computer crash or a car on the brink. No job too big, no task too small. Technology Bob showing us all. Click that button, give it a go. Watch them work on what you know. Building dreams one fix at a time. On Technology Bob, they're doing just fine. They will do our hammer and nail. Spruce up the garden. Fix a derail. Nick's got a laugh and Bob's got a grip. Together they're making treasure from bits. Oh, trucks, smoking PCs, blue screen. Oh, washing machine that's busting at the seam. Tune in the bitch. All right. What I ended up doing is I ended up downloading the image, several different images of 9.5, Rocky 9.5. All of them gave me the same hardware. I said, okay, I backed up the 8, yeah, I think it was 8.1 image. And I went ahead and did the desktop version with GNOME light on it. And I ended up getting the screen. All right, so. We got, I'm going to go ahead and probably install it on the hard drive and walk through some configuration issues. Channel and you'll be hooked. Learning as they teach you what it took. From morning sun to the evening glow. Behind every fence there's hard work to show. Right, back. I'm not sure how this will work, but we're going to try it. Um, unplug keyboard, you can usually do that with the Linux machine. You plug, you plug it back in. You're going to plug a... It's on there.
get a mouse. I don't know where we can find a mouse around here. Oh, look at here. We may have one in here somewhere. Let's try to find one. That one looks like okay, I guess. care about all right I want to bring everybody back I have actually have it installing Rocky Linux 8.10 on this machine however it's not probably something I want to do um, in the long run I probably will end up going to CentOS 7. I'll find an older copy if I can, because I know I'll understand it. Um, basically, Rocky 9.5 would not load at all. Um, 8.10, I was able to get information out of it. However, it didn't recognize any of these hard drives. It didn't recognize probably the hardware or how to set it up. I ended up, I grabbed out of the drawer of cords and I pulled one of the hard drives out and hooked it directly into the board. It recognized that hard drive. All right. And that's what we're actually installing things on. That does do me no good. Our... I mean, the only reason that I would even run this thing is to be able to get advantage of the RAD and backups that I could get from this. Um, so I actually, I'm on a roll here with all these wins. Anyhow, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and let this install. Maybe it will download a driver and pick them drives up i don't know um i'll bring you back in once it's done through a lot of this stuff uh i do know though on the other machine like uh, sent os 7 does recognize it so i would assume that it just stripped out of rocky or something because the same red hat release that anyhow um all right that for now that's good all right i want to bring everybody back uh i actually didn't give up on this machine i was uh i'm pretty headstrong that way um i basically i installed several different os's on it i was still getting the same thing the card that was being used in it was I mean it looks like it could have went it was five for five um, disc it was the software did not the newer software didn't like it I actually uh, installed started to install CentOS 7 it, it found it no problem so it was a newer newer software that was, a, that was not allowing things to um, work correctly so I took the card out took um, did undid the CD and I actually have the six drives here but if we think about it and we add this up these one one two three four five six we actually have only about a terabyte and a half of storage i actually think that this machine i think i did a calculation one time that one of these machines costs probably about 20 bucks a month to run. 
and that's a lot of overhead for a terabyte and a half. I mean, in its day, in its day, I mean, that was a lot of, a lot of memory. Um, I'm not going to scrap the hard drives. I'll use the hard drives. I can plug them in and use them as storage and just, you know, swap them. But I'm not going to leave this run. I, the, I mean, I'm going to scrap that. I, I just not going to do it. Um, like the machine I have over here on the side here, I actually think it has three or four terabytes on it. I have some bigger disk in it. Um, anyhow, it, I just wanted to button this up. Um, this, this project. I mean, it's not a failure. I got it running. Um, this is a 16-year-old machine. It hasn't ran. This machine has not ran since uh, 2013. So, right there, setting, a lot of things can go wrong. We, we swap. We put more RAM in there. We pop the RAM out. I don't know if you can see that. We pop the RAM out and we put new RAM in. It's not very much RAM because the older machine didn't have it. Um, we took the, the old drive controller out. Or I think, I don't think it's a controller. I don't know exactly. I'd have to look it up and look. I don't remember all the terms all the time. And we put it, we put, um, the drives just hooked them directly to the board. Um, it's, run, it's running Rocky 8.1. Running Rocky 8.1. Um, in which, I mean, it won't work. It doesn't work real well with GUI because of the low RAM and all, and actually the slow system. But uh, I could use Putty and get at it, at it and it would be no problem writing files back and forth. It would work just as well as anything else. Um, but anyhow, we're gonna, I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna spend 30 bucks a month because 20 bucks, 30 bucks, because in two months I could pay for something different. I mean, so I'm gonna um, shut her down Thanks for watching today. I this is a little different. I don't even know if I'm going to post this again. I just want to get things like this recorded. Um, these these are everyday things for me, and a lot of people don't know them. So I want to I want to educate people, or maybe if I can, I don't know if I can. Um, but one of the main things is is that I just get a run and is is cool and fun but we also have to be cost sensitive as far as what today's technology is um anyhow all right thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't until next time